So how would you describe your sense of Jewish identity at this time? Queer, neo-Hasidic, like I'm queer and Judaism's queer and like, and it is radical and I don't run away from it to find my radicality or my queerness. I actually dive deeper in it. And as it gets, as I dive deeper in it, Judaism gets queer and more radical and so do I. So that's kind of where I am with Judaism. And could you say a bit more about the queerness of Judaism? What does that mean to you? Um, it's both an anachronistic word and not an anachronistic word to call Judaism queer. Well, the, just like from like a literal, what you would understand as fitting into a modern LGBT like thing that like, you know, comes from the rabbis and the tradition itself where there are like, you know, there are seven gender categories in the Talmud there that like, you know, the first person is described, Adam Havishain is um, described as a bi-gender androgynous being. Like there are rabbis who are um, quote unquote confused for women and told that their beauty is a feminine beauty and described as pomegranate seed filled silver goblets in the half shade, half sun as like a description of their beauty in Talmud. Um, there's uh, like Avram and Sarai are described as tumtumim, meaning like kind of genderless beings until God reformed them. And that's why they like didn't have a child for a hundred years. And like there are a hundred thousand. And then we have like throughout Jewish history, just like, you know, like Hasidic trans men, Hasidic rabbis and, um, and like, a, like, you, stories of yeshiva boys hooking up on top of the roof and like and halacha about lesbians in the community there's like a hundred thousand specific things that I've learned like you know studying things like um this book called keeping your wives away from them and and the rainbow thread and a bunch of like new queer Jewish literature and then just like and learning with Svara a queer yeshiva in Chicago um but even more than like just being part of the queer alphabet soup, like something you would name there. Like our way of life is kind of defined as being different than everything around us, but like permeable to it. So like we have a strong center and a permeable edge. And I think like that process just produces so much queerness and like our idea of the world like coming from you know um that like just like that there are multiple truths and like elu that like that hold uh, coming from a tradition that holds multiple truths as holy that that like leaves contradiction unresolved that like has really warped gender norms from the Goyesha world where the men stay inside and the women work. And that that isn't free from patriarchy, but is definitely different than the patriarchy of like the world around us. And we're like, you know, it's not male strength that's valorized, but male ableness and like, and, and a cop that's like, that's valorized and like, and like a, a big husky Jewish woman is like what's valorized. And so like, there's like these, these like flipped gender norms from the Goyim and like, and then we like are constantly like diving into these books and this exegesis that like, yeah, that's like all about like doing wild things with our ancestors and pulling things apart. And, and so I think that in that way, like just the, I kind of, when I was talking about like the like, where do you know the Shoah from? Where do you know Zionism from? That, that's just the air I breathe. I feel like the air that a Yid breathes like within this community in this world is like just a queer air and produces this radicality and this weirdness and this awkwardness and this difference and this beauty that comes out of that. And I feel like that's like one of the gifts that our people brings to the world is like kind of like being queer everywhere. And like, you know, we like 
come up with these mishmash languages and do like these like syncretic rituals and like all these things and are like constantly doing that while maintaining our own identity and so I feel like that's kind of the ichor the, like the essence of of the last several thousand years of our diaspora. Mm -hmm.